the building of the Beit HaMikdash by the Rambam. Okay, we really, we learned this before, but let's just do it again, shortly. Hamizbeach. Now, according to the Rambam, the main feature in the Holy Temple was not the tablets. The, the Rambam says the Holy Temple, the main thing was the temple is a place where you would offer up sacrifices. Others have different opinions, but this is the Rambam. We're learning the Rambam now. Where did you make these sacrifices? On the outer altar. I think you saw pictures of it. I don't think I have the pictures here, do I? I don't think so. Let's see. One second. One second. Do I have the picture? I brought up some pictures. Net. No pictures here. All right. You, you saw it yesterday, right? Yes. Eh. That's not what I wanted. Was it this, right? Yes. The Mizbech, the outer altar, sometimes called the copper altar because it was coated with copper. And it was called the outer altar because it was not in the holy and it was certainly not in the holy of holies. It wasn't in what we call the Hechal, but rather it was in the outside of the, 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 the Ulama. Do you remember what these terms are? Or maybe let me just to refresh everybody's memory again. Let me do this again, right? Let me just find the picture and everybody will be happy. One second. Here we go. Stop. I don't know. Do I have to do that? Do I? Yes, I do. Maybe. Okay, we'll try it. Here we go. Excuse me one minute. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Here we go. Good. Here. Nah. It's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Just excuse me, please. I don't know. Let's see what this is. I should have done this before. There you go. Oh, the altar of the Jewish holy temple. Is this going to be good? Eh, maybe. Okay, here we go. Let's have this picture. Let's go to this. Share. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Isn't this good? Here, here we go. Here is the picture, an overview from the top. Here is the holy temple. Here is where the Holy of Holies is. Then there was a curtain over here. And then here's where the candelabra was and the golden altar. Here's just a, an, a pre-chamber, an antechamber, which was called the, the Ulam. This is, the whole thing is called the Hechal. Called Ulam. And outside of this whole business, here there's steps going up to it. Here is the altar. This is the altar. Are there more pictures over here? Do we need any more? No, we don't need any more pictures. That's sufficient. Yeah. Here's the altar. This is what we're talking about. Good? Yes. Now let's go back and look at our picture again. The altar, its place is very, very exact. You can never move this place of the altar. Forever. As it says, this is the altar for the Ola, for the total, complete offerings for the Jewish people. <clears throat> In the Holy Temple, this was where Yitzchak Avinu was sacrificed. Like it says, Lech Lecha. And I, th I think that the whole arrangement of these pages are not exactly right. Okay, what are we going to do? And it says, Vayiven Shlomo Lach 
El Eretz HaMoria at the Bayit. He went to the Eretz HaMoria. It should be Haramoria. Anyway, at the Bayit, Baharamoria. Oh, there it is. In the Haramoria on the mountain of Moria. What was the mountain of Moria? That's where Yitzchak was sacrificed. When Masura Biyata called, and everybody knows that the place where this altar was built by David and Shlomo in the Gora, in the, what is it, the, the threshing floor of Arva, Aravna, Aravna Hachiti, that's what the, King David bought it from his goy called Aravna. This is the place where Abraham built his altar to sacrifice Yitzchak. Exactly. This is the place where Noah built his altar when he came out of the ark. This is the altar that Cain and Hevel, in the beginning of the world, right? Remember, Cain got angry, Hevel's sacrifice got accepted. That Cain and Hevel, they made their sacrifices. This is where the first man sacrificed when he, Nebron, when he was created, he made sacrifice. And from there, from this land, he was created, which seems to indicate that this place called Gan Eden is Jerusalem, or will be. The wise man said, Adam, the, the Chachamim, our Chachamim said, Adam, the first man, he was created from the place where he would bring forgiveness. The altar brought forgiveness to Adam Arishon, and that he was created from that place. Let's do one more, Gimel. Base. <clears throat> the measurements of this of the mizbeach are very very exact, and the form of the mizbeach is known passed down from person to person. The altar, this mizbeach is the altar, right? The altar, this copper altar, the outer altar that built Bnei Hagola the people that came back from Babylon, second temple. This is something like the altar which will be built, Lehebanot, Asoho, they made it. And there's the third temple. The Ein Lahosif al Midotov, you cannot add on to the measurements and you cannot make any less. So there's 32 Amas, we'll see. When the Jews came back, from Babylon to build the second temple. So it says three prophets came together with them. One of them testified. This is Haggai, Malachi, and Zechariah. Zechariah, Haggai, and Malachi, right? They came up and they said, let's say, okay. And one of them testified, gave testimony from God, a prophet on the exact place of the Mizbeach. One of them gave exact testimony on the measurements of the Mizbeach. And one of them testified and said, he okayed it. You can make sacrifices on this altar, all of the sacrifices. Even though that there is no Beit HaMikdash there yet, you can make sacrifices on the altar. The altar is holy in itself. Let's do one more and then we'll, tomorrow we'll continue. The altar that Moses made, that's in the tabernacle, and the one that King Solomon made, that's the first temple, and the one that made the, the redeemed ones, the ones that came up from Babylon, that's the second temple, Moses made the tabernacle. King Solomon made the first temple. Is that what I said? First temple. And the people of the came up, that's the second temple. Vishal Atid Lasot. And the one that's going to be in the third temple, Kulam, all of them, are ten Amos high. Kulam, Eser Amos Kalechad, ma'am. Each one was ten Amos high. And that, what it says in the book of Shmot, when it's talking about the measurements of the tabernacle, it says that it was only three amas high, komoto, its height was three amas high. This is talking about just the upper part of it where the fire was, the maracha. 
the Mizbeach, we'll see, it was built up. It was built up on layers. The altar that the people in the second temple made, and also the one that's going to be made, its length and its width are 32 amas on 32 amas. 10 amas high and 32 by 32. That's how big the second and the last temple will be. The others were a little bit smaller, as we'll talk about more, God willing, tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. It's 9, 8.15 in the morning. That's pretty big, isn't it?